Hey, I'm LaPrentice Sampson, and I help health conscious consumers remove toxic products from their life so they can achieve true wellness. In today's video, we're going to find out if Nestle Pure Life Water has minerals. I mean, does it? Does Nestle Pure Life Water has minerals? That's what we're going to find out. But if you have not already, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you can learn all the different tips, tricks, and tactics that I give you so you can boost your overall wellness. All right, this one's gonna be a really short one, so let's get started. Right here, of course, we have Nestle Pure Life, and are there minerals in here? Yes, there is, but the minerals are not there. We'll say they're not there for you. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of this uh, Nestle Pure Life water so you can see what I'm talking about. So, how they make this water is first off it's purified water which means it can be done a variety of ways it can be um, stripped through reverse osmosis it can be a mix of reverse osmosis distilled and what they're doing is they're taking out all the stuff that's in the water so they're taking out all the bad stuff and all the good stuff all the minerals that we're actually supposed to have our magnesium our potassium um, our sodium all those things that's naturally in the water they're stripping it out and then they're adding in inorganic minerals and they're really doing it for taste, okay? Um, so if you look at the back of the water here, it's purified water and then it's less than 1%. So let's think about that, it's less than 1%, okay? And the first item here is calcium chloride. The calcium chloride is like rock, um, is salt that they use to de-ice the roofs. All right, so just think about that. The next item on here is sodium bicarbonate. And if you've ever seen this before, this is baking soda. All right, this is essentially baking soda, exact same thing. And then a little bit of magnesium sulfate, and that's another inorganic salt. So when you're drinking this, they provide just enough for taste, but not actually any to do you good. And so what I have here are some pH drops, and pH stands for potential hydrogen, and we use this to test the pH uh, quality of our water after we put a few drops in what color this water changes all right now if it shows up a red or orange or a yellow that means it is acidic and it's actually eating the minerals eating the electrolytes that's in our body when we consume this green is neutral and if we see a blue a purple or a dark purple that means it's alkaline and we want to ensure that our body stays in a slightly alkaline environment the more acidic we are then the more sickness and dis-ease we will have in our body. So, our water should be hydrating us. It should keep us in an alkaline state. So let's see what we get. All right, so as you see, I had a few drops and you saw that change colors, right? It went from orange to a green. And the reason for that is only because of the inorganic minerals that they added in here. It's like half of 1%. So what do you think will happen if I actually test out the quality of the minerals in here by blowing into it with my oxidized breath? Let's see what happens. Look at that. So it immediately changed. Now why did it do that? It was because it wasn't able to handle the acidity that was in here, right? So if it was truly a good alkaline beverage, it would be able to battle back and be able to fight off the acidity that I added to the water with my, with my oxidizing breath. All right, so are there minerals in this water? Yes, there is, but it's just not meant for you. This is really purified water, which is one of the worst forms of water to consume because this actually takes minerals away from us. Combine that with the fact that it's in a plastic bottle, pretty thin, pretty flimsy, and water is a scavenger. So it's leaching the plastic and eating the plastic in here, and it could actually create a carcinogen known as xenoestrogen. And 75% of men and women who have breast cancer have too much xenoestrogen in their body, and that's how they have breast cancer. So overall, does Nestle Pure Life water has minerals? It does, but not what you need. Okay, and you can see how weak it is, right? The moment you consume this, it's not doing any good for your body. In fact, it is just a mask and it's gonna actually remove 
the minerals that are in your body. So I don't recommend drinking this. If you want to learn more, I highly recommend following me on my website, LaprentisSampson.com, or you can find me on Facebook, either at my personal profile, LaPrentis Sampson, or even on my Facebook page. Highly recommend checking it out so you can drink the best water for your health. And it's vital that we do this. You deserve the best, and our body is 75% water. So let's just drink the best water for our health, all right? Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in learning more, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.